Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And guess what time it is? Yes! Paper Pumpkin arrived yesterday. I got to look at it just a wee little bit, but then today I'm out here and I want to start with something really simple that everybody really could do. So, July 24th, Paper Pumpkin alternative video number one. This is absolutely stunning, guys. I do not blame if any of you guys just do the projects as they were designed. So let's give you a little look-see here. So this is the instruction sheet. And you'll see how it opens up like so. And it gives you very visual instructions. They're all visual, right? Shows you how to stamp them and all the wonderful stuff on each project. On the back, this QR code will lead you to a video that will show you how to put the kit together as they were designed. That will not be what I'm doing, okay? This QR code will lead you to the thanks, not thanks, sorry, that was last month's, Every Celebration Dies, which is this one, which is quite large, as you can see. And then I didn't pull these out. So what Stampin' Up! has done this year is they put out every three months a set of dies that will go with three months of paper pumpkin. And why is that? Oh, that's sticking because of the thing. So this one says hooray, and this is a large leaf. They're really beautifully sized, um, but don't forget you have your other dies that came along with the other paper pumpkins this month. So I'm going to put this one back in it. I did some stamping. This is really a show and tell and then a quick easy card. Then as always there's a visual of everything in the kit and then the coordinating colors. So the coordinating colors guys, let's, I pulled out, my girlfriend gave me this color coach which I had before. I just don't know where mine, I, mine apparently got lost, but I pulled out the colors. So we're going to start with Calypso Coral. That's one of the colors in the kit. I'm going to go along as they're listed. Daffodil Delight is our next color. And that is right there. Then we have Granny Apple Green, which is this bright green. Then it says Gray Granite, which this is the color of the ink spot that came in the kit. And then it says Old Olive, which is right here. And then we have Mossy Meadow, which is that dark green. Then we have the Melon Mambo, which is this really deep, dark pink. Um, Old Olive, oh, and then Melon Mambo, then Mossy Meadow. Peach Pie, now that's this right there. That's one of the new in colors. And guess what? This is pretty in pink. But look at the difference in the pretty in pink. So this is the old pretty in pink. That is the new pretty in pink. I don't know if you guys can just see. There is a definite, definite difference. Um, so anyways, this is the new pretty in pink. So those are our colors, which I'm going to keep these out with this. I'm going to just clip those back together. Because videos one through five, I show you everything that comes in the kit. So we went over this. Let's take a look at our stamps. So I don't need to show you the exact stamps because they gave us this great little printout which you can fold in half. I stick it in one of the clear envelopes like just like so. This is where my um, stamps were. Those are going to go now on the inside and that's how I store mine inside one of these clear envelopes. So just so you can see. Now I stamped and die cut the flower with the coordinating die. So that's there. The hello doesn't have, <laughs> the hello isn't even used on the kit itself. But I wanted to show you, these are the sentiment strips. Now I'm going to tell you, I don't like these. And I'm going to show you why. So as you can see, you got their shapes, right? Let's grab piece of cardstock. Here's a scrap bit. Do you see the shape in them? So when you stamp them, if you mess up like I did here, if you don't get it exact, you can't turn that over. That's not going to line up again. So I'm not a fan of this, okay? I, I, I don't, I think it's a great idea in theory, but they only gave you like, I think, five of each. So you only get one chance to mess up. 
and then this is no good. So just, just so you know, heads up, um, not a fan of that because I mess up just like everybody else. So in this little packet, they gave us some of these little sequins. Um, let's see. These 3M double coated tissue tape, whatever that is supposed to be. I guess it's like tear tape. And some mini um, dimensionals. Um, probably use some of that. I'm not sure about because I have others, you know, that I keep around. And as always, there's our gray granite. So let's look at what you got in this kit. So, thank you, Link. Um, so you got, I punched out the three melon mambos. That's them right here, right? You got three in the peach pie and three in the old olive. These little strips here. I'm trying to see, yes. And all they did with this is, these were going like so with whatever coordinating color. They were just a little added bonus you could stick like that is what they were doing on their cards. Me, I doubt if I'll be using it for that. Mm, doesn't appeal to me. Sorry, it just doesn't. But I'm sure I'll find a use for them. So, and then this is absolutely gorgeous. Where's the other one? These die cut, pre die cut images are stunning and I'm going to tell you that that alone, you could use the chipboard, cover it in a colored cardstock. Um, that would make a beautiful piece of artwork. Frame worthy. It is that beautiful. It just is. It is so frame worthy. So I just, I showed you how they came apart and you got three of these sheets with three images. Now let's look at our card bases. So here's one card base. I love how they add the back with the color because then you can split this up and really change it up. These are simple in the design issue because all you're really doing is laying this on top of that softer image and it makes it look like there's some, it's diffused a bit and it's absolutely just stunning. It just, it's, it's absolutely lovely. I, I can't help but say that. So that's one of the card bases. Let me show you the envelope. And this is what we're going to be using today is we're going to be using the envelope and that's it. Mm, probably just the envelope. I think this is gorgeous enough we are going to do something with that. So here is the peach pie version. And then this, I would call it the old olive because this is old olive, but it's a daisy. So there's that. Here's my envelopes. I want the melon mambo as I've already decided what I was going to do. So now it's time to see what we are actually doing. So. I have, I didn't even write this down, but I will. I have a white envelope. I have a white um, card base. I have my envelope from the kit. I have a two inch circle in melon mambo, and then I have a one and three quarter inch circle in white. And that's what we're going to do. This is going to be really, really simple card, everybody. And we're going to be using uh, Melon Mambo. Yeah, we want some color. We do. I need, I'm putting everything away and I'm like, oh, but I need that. But first, we have to cut apart our envelopes. So if you are new to my channel and you haven't seen me do this before, I simply fold the flap over. Don't need the bone folder. Just fold it over like so. And now I'm going to cut it in my guillotine. If you have the Stampin' Up! trimmer or just a trimmer, I would still crease it and then put it in like so where you're going to get it right on that little crease, the fold, fold line, and stick it in the track and cut. But I really do prefer a little guillotine. It, it's just handy dandy because as this is folded right here, right, like that, I get it right on the cutting line, right like that, 
and I cut. So this now, look at that beautiful. It's just gorgeous. That is useful. And then to cut apart the envelope, we're going to turn it over because we want that straight edge up against this blocking ridge of the cutter. I don't know what else to call that. So I'm going to take off a hair, just a little hair of it. I'm going to turn it over and take off another teeny tiny little hair. Right? I can't even find it. It's so tiny. There it is. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to cut again on that line. So this is going to be white. So if you didn't have a white, you could have punched your one in three, three eighths, three quarter inch circle out of this, but I'm going to leave that. This now I am going to cut down. I'm going to cut it to four by five and a quarter. So four, and I want this left on it, so I don't want that by the guillotine, by five and a quarter. Now these little bits, not sure if I'm going to use them. In fact, oh, look at they're pink. We are going to keep those. Hmm. This can go on the inside of the bottom of the card or on the envelope. Maybe we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This should be very, very simple, simple, simple. All right, we are gonna need a sponge dauber, which first, a set of tea. Oops, decaf, of course. Sponge daubers. I know there's a melon mambo. Right there it is. That container isn't quite deep enough. All right, because we're gonna do the thump, thump, thump. Yes, we're gonna sponge around the entirety of this. And it is really flimsy. And I want some scratch paper because Melon Mambo, juicy, 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 juicy pad. And I don't want it juicy. So I'm using, trying to get it, my fingers as close to that edge. And now I'm gonna use this long part. So Lori, time to use those sponge daubers you just got. All right. So here I can use this part of my hand, or actually the pinky. I really like using these two together and holding it. It's just going to give us nice little detail around the edges. Now in last month's kit, you've got a little speckly stamp. Um, so if you don't have the itty bitty backgrounds, grab that little speckly bit. Because I'm going to use my itty bitty backgrounds. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. I will keep it, keep it, keep it. Um, but first, we're going to stamp our sentiment and I'm going to use the one that I messed up on, which is friends like you make, oh, I like that one. Friends like you make life beautiful. That will fit beautifully on that. I got to clean it off because I stamped those in black memento. So quick little clean off there and see if it's a circle or a square or something that's not, um, like what they gave us, you can make this, if you mess up, you just flip it over. The ones they gave us this time, you cannot do that. So that's gorgeous. Now we're just using Melon Mambo, so I want to stamp off, stamp again, look at it. That's still too dark. That is better, but let's look at number four. Four is the winner. So I'm going to stamp off, stamp off, stamp off. Now I'm going to stamp on here there. I'm going to stamp and I'm still stamping and I, you know, kept going. So there it's all got little speckles on it. So I know four is the magic number. One, two, three. Now what I want to do is go around these flowers, kind of like what they did. One, two, three, four is the magic number. I'm going to come around here. 
because this is just going to go there and I have that gorgeous Melon Mambo circle that is going to go just like that. Now, a little bit of ribbon behind this would be spectacular. Where is my ribbon? Because now that I'm looking at it, oh, we could even dye the ribbon. We could dye ribbon. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> oh, I love this ribbon. This ribbon is so pretty. They don't do that. But this is the striped iridescent. I don't know if it's called stripes, but it is iridescent something. Iridescent trim. Striped trim. That would be really pretty with this. So we're all done stamping for the moment. Let's move that out of the way. And we could go up and over. Go over the pinky. Bring it back up. Then I would have to use dimensionals. But, oh, that is pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty on there. Oh, I do like it. Okay. That's what we're going to do. First, we're going to get it on our card base, which this is my card base. It's got a little wonky in the thing. We are going to go around and go around the edge. We need a little bit more melon mambo. I'm tapping off over there. Tap, tap, tap off. Because we don't want it too dark. And it can get really dark. <laughs> don't want that super darkness. All right. Let's see. This now. It's going to go, oh, see how that sets it up? Let me show you. So this is what it would look like if you didn't go around the card base, which is pretty. But it's not as near as pretty as that. Do you see that? That's what we want. I'm going to try not to um, close up that. So we want to now glue that on this card base with hopefully some liquid glue. Oh, see how pretty that is. But the other side is prettier. I don't know if a part of me wants to on one of these. I want to literally, and I'm going to do that in video number two because I already have it in my head. Um, I will be cutting this off, flipping this over, and doing um, very similar to this card. And just because I want to start off with something that everybody can do. You can do this even if you don't have Melon Mambo. Um, you could do it with a pink, old olive, um, pretty, um, no, polished pink would work. Because I know we have a spot of that, I think, from a past paper pumpkin kit. So isn't that lovely? Now, we do have, this can go on our envelope. This piece could go there, but I'm not that liking that. So this, I think, is going to go on the inside. And I think I'm going to keep it. Let's see. We have friends like you make life beautiful. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. That is perfect for the inside. So let's go ahead and stamp that one. I need to clean it off. Oh, you know what we could do instead of ribbon? I forgot that I thought of that. Let's see. Let's stamp this first. On the inside of our card. And then I want to show you... Smushy, 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 smushy. Though I did do it first. We're just double checking. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. All right, so we have this little lined image, which is reflective of the lines in the cardstock, right? On the card base. So we're going to stamp off 
I like it stamped off. So stamped off, we're going to do right there. Stamp off, we're going to go right here. Isn't that kind of cool, right? So now we may not use the ribbon on this card because I'm thinking that we could do the same thing with give it a little bit of element. Yeah, we're going to go with this just because I originally wanted this. So I'm looking, my circle's going to go about right there. So I'm holding this up. I'm going to use my pinky over here to hold up exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to scoot the image off. But first, I'm going to ink it up again, stamp it off. Right, so I'm using my pinky. I have my block. This is a paper pumpkin block. And I'm going to move this all out of the way and stamp down. Right, so there we have that little bit there. Now I'm thinking, do you, yeah, I'm going to come down again, stamp off. I'm going to try to look. I want like that right there. Oh, I'm moving it. So, got to reposition everything because that didn't work out so well. I want it a little longer like that. So, over here, snag it, come down. Now, I'm going to do three of these. And I'm going to come this one once again. Put that there. This one's going to be about right there. So, push that away, bring it down. I know the ribbon was pretty, but we're just doing something a little different. Not everybody will have the ribbon. So now I want to go, I want one here. So stamp off. I want one right there. And I'm thinking just another one right there, but shorter. So like right there. I might have to bring that down a little bit. I do like it. So now I'm thinking, since I already glued this down, I'm going to have to mask. It's just I'm not going to say it's a curse. It's just who I am. I do something like this and then I look at it and I'm like, oh, it needs this. So I'm looking for my, oh, good gracious, my little, okay, we just won't use those. I was looking for um, my sticky notes and I can't find any of them. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to use my paper. This is what the shipping address bit came in. All right, so I'm just putting that along the edge. I'm gonna stamp off and I'm going to add like right there. I'm gonna stamp off. I'm going to add probably one here stamp off and a bit there. Oh, do, 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 do like it. So now I'm going to go to the other side. Stamp off. Put this down. Hopefully all the way to the edge. I don't know why it doesn't want to sit right for me. So I want to do like one right there. Stamp off. And I'm going to bring one in here. I'm going to stamp a little bit of one there. I'm going to sit back and look at it. And I think I want a partial up at the top. Up here. I don't want the entire thing up there. I just want like to show a little bit of it, which I got more of it down there than I wanted. Stamp off, and I'm going to put a little bit of it down here. Little abstract work in the background. 
I'm going to go right there. Okay, now we're done. So now let's work on our envelope. So ribbon is not happening today, but our envelope is. So we are going to go full strength now. So I'm going to go partial here and here. We're going to do long one, short one. And down here, we're going to go there and there. And do I want, oh, we have the little tiniest hello ever. <laughs> Cute, I haven't used that one yet. It didn't have anything corresponding with it. So we're going to do hello. And then hello again. Oops, I'm not going to be able to fix that. And then hello. I'm not pushing all the way on the O apparently. Hello, there we go. Okay, so that's our cute little envelope. Let's get this card finished. Could still add some ribbon if we so desired. I will just show you what it looks like. You could even do a loop like that, like a metal, and stick that in there, but I don't really, don't like that. I just simply, I always do this. Get it out of my hand there. The ribbon is so iridescent, it pulls the colors, it just makes them pop. So there's that. The ribbon still is absolutely gorgeous with the card. And I almost can hear you guys saying, add the ribbon, add the ribbon. So guess what? We're adding the ribbon. Yes, we are. So let's just cut it right here. And scissors. I don't know why these little scissors tend to cut the best. We are just going to add the ribbon. I still like everything else, but we are definitely adding the ribbon and you can t see I'm just going from there, just trying to get those loops. What you want when you do this is you want a bit hanging off out of this loop and a bit hanging above the loop. Now I know that I am going to put it on the circle like so. So I'm going to hold that together because I wasn't thinking right. And I'm going to put a couple of strips, hopefully, of tear tape down. One. Two. Oh, guess what? So yesterday I took Hank to the drive-in with a girlfriend and her grandson. Great time. Oh, who would have known the Lego movie was so funny? Um, it was just, you know, a little $2 movie at the theaters they do for the summer for kids. Anyways, funny, funny, funny. I was laughing. I was surprised <laughs> at myself. But tonight my entire family is going to the drive-in. So I want it to go this way, right? This is the way I want it. So I need to switch up. Pull that over a little. What are we going to go see? Hmm. Well, we're going to see Despicable Me and Twister. Yes, Despicable Me for Hank. My husband's even going. He's like, okay. He's like, I know what you girls have planned. Jessa already told us. Yes, Jessa's coming too. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. 
He's like, we're going out to dinner, which was so surprising. He's like, but we're taking different vehicles. Because I asked him, I said, do you think you could uh, borrow Ken's truck to go to the drive-in? He was like, why do I want to borrow Ken's truck? I said, to go to the drive-in. You know, like we used to put all the cushions from the sofa or an air mattress in there. And we all pile in, you know, and we can kick back. He's like, no, we're going to take those uh, stargazing chairs. <laughs> to do it. So I'm thinking, I think this will still get flat. I think this will still, yes, it's going to be fine. So we're going to glue this on. No dimensionals here. Anyways, I was so surprised. He's like, you know, that boom box just is bringing that great big boom box. We got her for Christmas. She's charging hers. I want to charge hers. Where's your boom box? Karaoke machine. I said, I know where it's at, but I don't know if it's going to charge. So He's getting that ready. I'm so excited. We haven't done this since our kids were, you know, 12 years old. And then we did it while they were teens, but we used to go to the movies all the time. Of course, we had money back then. One time that we actually did when my husband made cheese. It was, like, amazing. when we bought, uh, oh no, he hadn't made cheese then, did he? Uh, it's like, he was a first class and we bought our first ever brand new car and we had that car till it wouldn't go no more. The only man I've ever known who buys a brand new car without AC. And yes, he did it on purpose. And then we went to California and I was like, where's the AC? He's like, it doesn't have AC. I'm like, no. Come on, and I'm trying to push all these little buttons, and he's like, I wasn't getting one with AC. He's like, AC is a waste. It is so not a waste. <laughs> but for him, it is. All right, sticking. Let's do this. Oh, I'm happy I put the ribbon on there. I know you guys are too, because it's so pretty. But we are going to use these little bits, because it needs a little bit down here, right? One two and three and I want all large ones. One, two, and do we want it up here? I think we're gonna go right there. So now we're gonna do the wink Stella. Did we, uh, we were gonna glue this at the bottom. We need to get this in. So you can just line it up like so. Give it a little squiggle of glue maybe. Push it around a bit. Ah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. That little detail. Where's my envelope? Here we go. And Wink Estella, which is right here. Which last time I used it, it went like everywhere. And all using the envelope but oh my goodness all of you can do this with one of the envelopes extend your, this is just a white card base with it an extra white envelope but look how pretty that little card came out very 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 pretty so I hope you guys like it um, I absolutely love sharing what I do with you. I mean, the response is amazing. The new people that I've gotten to communicate with, to become friends with, even though we may never or ever be able to sit down in person, you all mean so much to me. So thank you all so very much. And guess what I just found? It is literally right there post-it notepad. My old one is down in there, which I remember I couldn't find that one either. And I grabbed a new one. <laughs> it's right there. So, oh, anyway, so as always, if you are not subscribed and you like what I do, would you consider subscribing as it really does help get my videos played more on YouTube? And I would appreciate it. Um, also, if you do like it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. As always, your comments, guys, are why I still do this. 
I know I would not do this without the feedback I get from you because it is the highlight of my mornings. Today my daughter and I were talking while I was charging so I didn't get to until a little bit later. But I look forward to each and every comment that you leave. Please, I hope you guys feel that when I respond, I, I respond. I just don't hit a heart or anything. I respond back to you. So thank you all so very much. And as always, please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.